<laughs> All right, guys, ready to see the greatest zoo in existence? It's so good that uh, some people that guests were complaining about the price of tickets until I increased it to sixty-five dollars a person. Then they were okay with spending that little. Before that, they're like, "No, that's too cheap. That's too cheap." And I'm like, "Fine, spend more money, idiots." <laughs> so the entryway has uh, eight mini enclosures. I'm not gonna spend time on it because usually the animals are hard, but it's got the Amazonian centipede, poison dart frogs, uh, diamondback terrapin turtle, and this one is unsure right. That's an iguana. Oh, of course it's an iguana. There's one right in front of me. Anyway, um, it's got a couple gift shops, and then we go back up, and there's two more or four more enclosures. There is the Brazilian Wandering Spider, and the Emperor Scorpion, who I haven't been able to see at all. Then we go over across, and there's my boys, the Anacondas. Ooh, he's right up close. And then there's a Rattlesnake. Moving on, we see the bathrooms. Um, and then entering the giant greenhouse that serves as the entryway. So you walk in, and these doors only allow guests through, even though they're wide open, animals can't get through, because we have peacocks in here. I'm not sure if we'll find any, but if we find one, he'll be the determining factor. There he is. Okay, so he's chosen which path we take first. So there's, as you can see, three pathways. Oh, also, I like the otter fountain, just saying. Um, so the... Since we found a peacock right here, the first pathway we will take is the large herbivores. So we're going to stick to the um, right side of the path and then just sort of go in a circle. Here we got our bison. And you better be coming to feed them, bud. Uh, you better feed them, mister. But there's, there's some bison. So this one I tried to make is look look as much like, you know, the Badlands as possible. I even went with a nice hot spring, like in uh, Yellowstone. Technically, it's not a hot spring. Technically, it's normal water with a bunch of mist <laughs> special effects. But I got that and a geyser. There's Old Faithful. Then we move on. Also, just so you guys know, these are all my... these. This zoo has the 21 of my favorite animals in the park in the game. So here is the hippos. Um, oh, also each one I tried getting a decorative piece specific to them. Forgot the bison, so I'll have to add like a decorative bison. I'll do that right now. We'll see what they got. Eh. So we'll put this right here. So the bison is boring. <laughs> But whatever. Um, so then we go to the hippo. The hippo's got a nice African fishing shack with a statue of a hippo on the deck. Oh my god, those people must have been murdered by the hippos in the pond. But yeah, there's the hippos. Their little African pond. Enjoying themselves. Looks like they're eating. They're not. They're pooping. Good to know. Alright. Why aren't you people feeding the animals? There's a zookeeper assigned to every single enclosure. His only job is to feed them and clean up their poops, and apparently nobody's doing it. Arrgh. Um, then this one is my cassowaries. And there's his special cassowary sculpture. Is that one swimming? What is that? Oh, is there a toy? Why do they have a toy rubber ducky? I didn't know Cassowaries played with the rubber ducky. Oh, well, look at him swim. Then they go up here to the big enclosure, which is elephants. He's not dead. And they get a nice big view of the elephants in their little elephant enclosure with their little elephants statue thing. Yeah, I 
Got a nice big huge almost complete panoramic view. Then you return. Hey, nice balloons. And we go to the rhinos. There's the rhino sculpture. Um, and there's the white rhinosaurus. Oh boy. He was just charging you, little girl. Yeah, you and the little polka dot shirt. He was just trying to kill you. Oh, so is this one. Wow. They're angrily attacking their food. And then we've got this one, which orangutans didn't have much decorations. So there's just a solid gold orangutan uh, statue. Let's see if we can find one of them. Oh, I was hoping they'd climb on the little shack I gave them. Like the little water wheel farmhouse sort of thing. Oh, there they are crossing their little bridge, which used to be needed. Um, as you can, if you can, in case you can't tell from the awkwardness of the back, their enclosure was like a tiny bit too small for them. So I had to make it a little bit bigger and I moved their uh, shelter back there. So that area, but the river went all the way across. So I gave them the bridge so that they could walk across instead of having to swim. Ooh, there's one. Then we go on. And we'll f we're finished with the big herbivores at the Llama Pen. Some nice ruined Incan te temples and some golden llama statues. Oh my god. Hey, he just filled this. Man, you llamas like to eat. But okay, he just filled it. So that was oh, what habitat. Oh well, I'll look at it after I record. Um, then we go back in to the peacock greenhouse, and we'll go this way to the cuties. Uh, um, so first, since I had a big huge section of space, because that guy's, the llama pen was too close for me to build another pen to, so I had to make a big open space. There's bathrooms and... Uh, five more small exhibits. There's the skink, blue-tongued skink. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it too. I discovered a new thing where you can make, um, if you close the windows, it allows for facades to be put on. Either 2D, which are the ones on the sides, or 3D, which is the one in the back where it's actually got like stuff for them to, I guess, theoretically climb. Wow, you got nice green hair, bud. Next up, we've got the leaf bug, which, yeah. Unless that's him, I'm not going to look for him. Nope, that's a leaf. Yeah, I'm not going to spend time searching for the leaf bug because that's a daunting task. And we got the Gila monster. Another one that's probably hiding. And then we got the tree frog. Oh, there he is. There's the little guy. Then we got a scarab beetle. I don't know if I'll see him. I'll break in. Is that a pile of dung just for him? Because <laughs> scarab beetles are dung beetles. So yeah, then we've got an ATM. We've got a walkable place, which I, hey, that's me. That's me. That's my guy. I just came through the, see, that's Brando Kazooie. I just came through the walkable pangolin enclosure because pangolins are really shy. So it's sometimes hard for people to see them at the front, you know? So I gave it a walkthrough, but because they're very shy, I also have their shelter and their water and stuff like this is back here, so they can still hide. Because, you know, you want the animals to be happy. But there's a nice little walkway, takes you past a nice little, I don't know, Chinese house and garden with a pangolin statue. There's the special pangolin. And, yeah, you walk, you can walk through and potentially see them better than if you were walking by the window. There's one digging in the dirt. So that's Pangolis. Then we go next to the ground, apparently. Next up is one of my favorite animals. Well, all of these are one of my favorite animals. But capuchins. I love capuchins. They're so cute. 
little monkeys. Like we got a bunch of them, and then this, which I tried to make look like a cenote, which are those under like those water things in uh, Mex Mexico. Although I want the water to be different color. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be. Oh, I can't do it with this thing here. Okay, I'll change the color. I want it to be cleaner looking. And then we keep moving. Oh, also each uh, section has the whole shots. Hey, that shot's got a confusion on it. Then we get here, where we can see the snow leopards. This one was sort of a stretch. I mean, they're adorable. They are cute. But it didn't fit in my predators section because I have eight total big predators. But snow leopards I thought were the cutest. And worthy of the cutie area. Although where are my snowies? Huh. They also didn't have a snow leopard specific decoration. So instead I've just got this shrine looking thing. Then you go through this that I added for just because I thought it looked pretty cool, um, but it doesn't really fit with what we're going to see, because it's desert, and then we go see the otters. <laughs> you know, those desert otters. Ah, oh, that's cool. I made the water clear. But yeah, this one's got the big look, scroll through thing, walk path. For some reason, it's really lumpy, though, so it's probably, it was hard to put down the benches and such. Um, it's a solar panel. Then on our walk back, we've got the fennec foxes. With that big fennec fox statue that's like ten times the size of a fennec fox. There's two of them. Ooh, are they fighting? Kick his butt, fanny! Um, they got a nice little fountain and this desert northern African house thing. Got a nice pond that is hella deep for them. <laughs> Considering it's only like a foot deep at the most. Um, and then behind the house is where their, their shelter is. Like with a lot of animals, I give them ample hiding opportunities just because, you know, animals don't like people staring at them all the time. It, I like that they run. Fennec foxes are cute. Whee! Then we move on. There. Oh, they got a bubble machine. Um, then we move past. Ooh, that guy's got a hyena hat. There's no hyenas in this zoo. Sorry, bud. Whoa. Is that tarantula hat? All right, now I'm just going to follow people and watch their hats. Anyway, now we're at Timon's house. The meerkats. Oh, that one's playing in a sprinkler. The meerkats, you'd think they're my all-time favorite animal because of how much decoration they have, but it's just because I could not put in the awesome statue and then the freaking Egyptian temple to meerkats. And it's also got a scarab beetle and a fennec fox up there, but mostly it's to meerkats. And that is the meerkats' shelter. They sleep in there. Figure since they like to dig in the ground, they'd love that. And then they got a little, couple little puddles. Not too much water because they're desert. And oh, that one's going in a little hole. Hey, you guys. So there's the meerkats. Next up. Oh, these ones. This animal sucks. We're not going to look at the koalas. Oddly enough, there were no koala statues or anything, just a sign. So I put a koala sign on this tree with a little herb-scented thing so that it attracts them. So the koalas will go to the thing. Why is that? Oh, that's the one they can eat off of. Looks like it's got, like, bad stench lines coming off of it. But yeah, so far there's only three koalas, but there's also this... Uh, this was the koala decoration at first, yeah. It should be on, but it's a light. <laughs> it's shaped like a koala's head. So there's the koalas. There were so that was the cutie section. No, 
now, that's the main entrance. I think this is Predators. Yep, this is Predators. Alright, here's the one animal that I couldn't get anything remotely related to it on. Komodo dragons. Instead, they've got little baby alligators. Uh, but this is the Komodo dragons. Enclosure? Ooh, there's one. So, like all the animals, he's got they've got ample place for you to see them, and then their back area, covered up by all the trees, is their shelter so they can rest without being seen. And then... Oh. Each, each section has its own stalls. This one has uh, Arctic looking because they look cool. Next up, we've got the wolves. There's the wolf sculpture. And now, this one I'm a little disappointed in because I made the mountain way too close to the entryway. And it's hard to... Uh, um, it's hard. It, the wolves don't come out front all the time. Zookeeper sucks. Um, but, oh, maybe he doesn't. There's a lot of random meat chucked all over the place. That's kind of weird, Zookeeper. There's one. They climb up the mountain where it's cold up top, but down here it's normal temperature of 79 degrees. And that's their shelter is inside a cave with wisteria and ivy and inside the cave is nice and dark and wolfy. Um, I made it bigger because I'm planning on, I mean, right now I've got it turned off so animals won't breed because that's something that I gotta pay attention to, but I made it so that they, I want to make it so the wolves eventually do. But yeah, and I made this, you know, I made each, each animal section look as similar to like where you'd find them as possible. So then we move on from the wolves to... Chala's cage. This is where we've got the jaguars. There's the jaguar sculpture. Um, so you know how I mentioned I wanted the other one cleaner looking? This one I specifically chose to be dirty because jaguars live in the Amazon where it's sort of... Um, there's Chala. See? Chala! I haven't named which... I haven't picked which koala is going to be Coco yet. Or which meerkat's gonna be Timon. Ooh, let's look at the jaguar poop. Yay! But that's Chala. Always, if I get a black panther jaguar, it's Chala. So the jaguars are probably the hardest to find if you're just watching, because A, they camouflage, that's sort of the point, but also it looks very... It's very cluttered like the Amazon would be, you know? But yeah. And then we've got... Big old lion cage. Lion decorations are that thing made out of metal, and also there's a lion mask. And there's our other named animal, Muscarba. Always have a Muscarba if I've got lions. But yeah, so there's the lion's enclosure. Big old fancy place with mountains and such for them to climb. Pride Rock, if you will. And now we return. We've got in here a Chinese temple. No animals. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see that before. It's got incense burning up top. I didn't see that last time. No, oh, but this one, again, didn't have any, like, statues, which I thought was odd, but they had a sign, so it's the Tiger Temple. For my Bengal tigers. Oh, I didn't name one of them. I think the pooper. I think that's the male. Nope, that's Suhani. So this is the man. And his name is Sher Khan. <laughs> so there's the tigers. Got a nice bunch of bamboo for them to walk through. Stuff like that. And then we move on to this one, which was fun to build. Because I built that shack there all by myself. It's the bears, grizzly bear section. There's my two swimmy bears. Um, they've got in front of their shack a statue, and it's got a bear head on it. The door is knocked down. Oh no, it's like this was a shack in some normal, you know, Letchworthy looking place. 
The bears broke it down and claimed it. I wish you could have dead bodies. <laughs> I'd totally make it so the bears murdered somebody. Oh, and there's also this bear statue thing, which I like. It's pretty cool. I wish I could make something like that in real life. Moving on from the bears to the last animal in the park. The salties. There's the statue. It's just a saltwater croc growling at everybody in, in the middle of their uh, water thing. Oh, that's another thing. But I forget which enclosure, so never mind. But yeah, there's my salties. We got two of them just chilling. They don't like a lot of coverage, so they don't have a lot of trees, but they got the water. And under the water, they got fish. So there it was. Oh, also, I put this up here. Nobody can really see it, but I like it. It's a whale wind thing, whatever those called, um, weather vane, I just liked it, but yeah, there's Zeusum Park, it's very crowded, very busy, it's very popular too, I opened it up, like, the park was literally, like, closed, and then I opened it, and paused it, and started recording. So in the 20 minutes that I've been talking to you, the guest count went from, like, whatever it was at the beginning, which I think was only, like, 500 to 5,000. And this would be the worst part of the zoo, is walking in. Just look at how crowded it gets. But then one, that's a lot of spider heads. But once you get through the greenhouse, that's where it starts sort of getting better, because, you know... People are now picking three different places. Maybe I'll make like a, a ride so that it... Maybe I'll make it so that there's like a, a train that takes you from the start front, underground, goes underground through a tunnel all the way to like... Like there and has like one animal <laughs> but there's my newest zoo hope y'all likes it bye bye